Hello, YouTube! We're back for another video! I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and to my left, I have my girlfriend. Hello, YouTube! I'm Ray from Ray the Scene Kid, and to Jake's Right, we have Peyton B from Peyton B and their friend. And today we have a half price books haul. It's a haul now? Um, sure. All right. So if you guys didn't watch yesterday's, Valentine's Week special. Basically, the whole gist is that since the three of us are in a relationship together, we all got stuff for each other. So we went and we picked out stuff for each other, and that's what we will be showing off today. Yeah! First, let's get everything out of there. And... We'll set everything over here. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, first, let's see what we have here. All right. This is <laughs> this is something that Peyton B got for little old me because he knows that I. I'm a sucker for these daily, I don't know what you'd want to call them, honestly, like, here, let's show. See, it's like stuff that you read daily and it's supposed to, like, cleanse your mind or something, I don't know. <laughs> and baby got me a Cherokee-themed one. What? <laughs> Themed? <laughs> since Peyton B is Cherokee and I guess wants to share their culture. It's so sweet. Aww. So, yeah, but see, I mean, this is what it is. Like, you know, you read a page daily for, you know, the corresponding day, you know, and stuff. Oh, yes. So, thank you, Peyton V. I will um firmly enjoy this one. Yay. All right, so what do we have next here? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is what I got for you. It's the first volume of Initial D because I know that you like classic mangas and I know Initial D is like cool. So I got you this. Ooh. Oh, this looks kind of fly. Yeah. And yeah, apparently first printing was in May of 2002. So, yeah, I hope that's classic enough for you. Yeah, it is, bro. Because this is like... Swagger. Honestly, y'all, I've never, like, watched Initial D. I just kind of know it from, like, the soundtracks and stuff, but... Yes, this will have its firm place within my, um, manga collection of old mangas that nobody seems to want to keep. Yeah, I would have gotten you, like, the other volumes, but, like, they only had this one. Oh. All right, let's see what we have next here. 
Okay, so Pay and B got me these. <laughs> hey, wait. I think I remember the name of this series from a previous unboxing video on my channel where we unboxed um mangas that would have sneak peeks of other mangas. Well, yeah, so, now this here, first off, this does look like something I will enjoy, so, um, thank you, Peyton B, I'm sure I probably will, which I mean, also, like, I'm digging this art style, like, <laughs> um, I don't know, off the top of my head, it's kind of reminding me of Inyasha. Like, okay, like the manga, guys. Um. But, um. Yeah, I'm. Sorry, guys, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> but, um. Sure, I'll enjoy this. And then what do we have next? Um, second volume. Oh, cool. So, Pay and B, how many volumes did they have there? Oh. Okay, so they had the first two volumes. And then they had volume four. Hey, wait, hold up. I just forgot, guys. We forgot to look at the ads. Oh, no! I forgot you did that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. But, um... I mean, I don't know. I mean... Okay, maybe it was a good call to not get Volume 4, because I'm somewhat okay with, like, missing volumes, but personally, that would get on my nerves a little bit too much. Okay, so we got an ad here for, um, Revolutionary Girl Utena? Bro, that's fly. Okay, we got a survey. <laughs> I would never do one of those. I don't want them taking, like, my information and then using it against me. Yeah, me neither, bro. All right, so that's uh, the ads for volume two. Let's see what's in volume one. Survey? Yeah. All right. Um. Honestly, I don't know this one. I don't either. Oh, and then we got more revolutionary girl Utena right there. Let's see, what's, um... Oh, they got other stuff, too. What is all these? <laughs> oh, that's, um, titles of other mangas they're trying to get you to buy. Oh. I only recognize, like, two of these. I recognize, like, five of them. But that's about it. Oh. Okay, let's see what they got in here. Um. Alright. Priest. Don't know that one. Chobits. Ah. The latest bestseller from Clamp. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, whoops. Oh, hold up. Oh. You know, honestly, like, only, like, one or two of these ads, I'm surprised, because I feel like whenever I read mangas nowadays, especially from Tokyo Pop, like, yeah, th yeah, it's Tokyo Pop. Yeah, like, the Tokyo Pop, they have, like, a lot of ads for some reason at the end. I know, right? 
Yeah, like, oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> this next one I got for you, Ray. For me? Yes. It's um volume three of Dork Diaries. Ooh. And it's the UK edition? Yeah. I, um... I don't know, do you have any of the Dork Diaries? Yeah, I have, like, a couple of them, but, like... I'm not really collecting them, though, so I don't mind that this one will be a little out of place in my collection. But, oh my gosh... Yay, I love Dork Diaries. I do too. <laughs> Honestly though, comparing like the art style of this to like the newer volumes, you can tell it's changed a lot. Yeah, I mean, then again though, 2009... I think was whenever the first volume came out. <laughs> yeah, either that or 2007. I don't know. Like, yeah, hell, that was like 20 years ago. What? No, that was like not that long ago. I don't know when it was, but it was not recent. Yeah, like, oops, honestly, like, I don't know, if you compare this to, like, volume 13, though, which is the latest one that I've read, um, yeah, like, you would definitely be able to tell a difference, though. Yeah, honestly, Plus, too, I'm just now noticing, like, the lack of illustrations. Like, not lack, but if you compare it to, like, the recent volumes, though, like, they have illustrations on, like, basically just about every other page, almost. And, like, also, too, they have, like, quite a few full-page ones. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, though, I also feel like you, there's not as much of these, like, really funny, outlandish illustrations, really. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the illustrations in the newer ones are kind of more, like, stiff. I don't know. Yeah, they kind of... They traded in creativity for, um... Looking... I don't know, um, mundane. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, that's just me. Aw, oh, little ant heart. Aw, that's how I feel about you, PMV. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Honestly, so true. <laughs> I mean, honestly, too, though. What page was it? This one. Yeah, like, see this illustration here where they're at um, Queasy Cheesy, and it's, like, so embarrassing because, like, um... Mackenzie like recorded them or something oh yeah yeah you know I've noticed too in like the later books they actually reuse illustrations wait I was actually thinking about that recently because I don't remember in which book it is it's either 12 or 11 or 13 I don't remember which one okay but they actually reuse an illustration from book nine, which is the one where Mackenzie steals Nikki's diary and, like, draws stuff in there. Okay, so the thing is, 
Wait. <laughs> yeah, like the thing is though, is that like Nikki would not be able to like redraw that. Because Mackenzie has a different art style than Nikki. Oh my gosh. So there, there's literally, like, no canonical answer for how, like, a um, drawing that Mackenzie drew could be in one of Nikki's later diary entries. Because, like, it looked literally the exact same. Like, not even, like, redrawn or anything. Like, it just looked the same. And the thing is, too, is that you could try to claim, like, oh, well, what if Nikki, like cut out the drawing and then like put it in there oh my gosh first off that would be stupid like why would she do that yeah and then like second off too like you know then i feel like there would have to be like you know something showing that like it's a paper like glued in there yeah so, I don't know. I'm just gonna say that, like, that's laziness. Okay? Like, it just is. They was being lazy. And I want answers. <laughs> I mean, bro, like, it, it was actually bugging me for quite a bit, honestly. Like, seriously. Because... I, I don't know y'all like do do any did any of you guys who read Dork Diaries did any of you notice that? Yeah, like I did, but I just kind of brushed it off as like, oh, they're being lazy. Because I do notice that they reuse some illustrations. You know, like whenever they're giving um not backstory, but, like, context on what happened in earlier volumes, which I hate, too, because it breaks, like, the world immersion and stuff. Yeah, like, okay, remember in book nine, whenever, um, Mackenzie brought up that the diary entries were only from, like, earlier that month, and there was nothing else? Wait, yeah? So then does that mean that, like, canonically in-universe, Nikki has, like, multiple diaries? Like, okay, like, each one of these is, like, its own diary book? Wait, how would that make sense, though? Like, okay, why, though, would she have... Like, multiple... What? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Like, why would her mom, though, also buy, like, a diary, though, that's only, like, this thick? And then, like, every time that Nikki fills it up, just goes and buys another one. Yeah, like, at that point, why wouldn't she just buy, like, a huge one? <laughs> like, huge? Yeah, like this. Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, though, like... Wait, but what if, like, in-universe, though, she's, like, publishing her diaries? What? Yeah, because that would explain, like, her explaining the earlier volumes, though. Yo... I don't know, maybe we should do a video of, like, dork diary theories or something. That would be so fun. <laughs> I agree. We just wasted, like, ten minutes talking about dork diaries. And poor Peyton V over here is probably wondering what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, because... I know I read some of them with you, right? Yeah, but we didn't read, like, the full series together. Oh. Okay, last book that I got. This is for you, Peyton B. And you too, Ray. Maybe also me. Oh my 
gosh, we can share it. <laughs> but, um, you're paying me. I'll let you take a look at it first. <laughs> okay, so, um, PMV did not look at the title. Yeah. I don't think that she can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, we do dark humor on this channel. Oh. <laughs> but, um, it says, The Courage to Heal Workbook for Women and Men Survivors of child sexual abuse oh oh wait <laughs> that's so true yeah that's man i think that's what we all need i have to agree honestly though the only thing that's kind of annoying me is like for women and men though couldn't they have just used something like gender neutral that would probably take up, like, less space. I don't know. They could have also just, like, not put that. And then it would say just four survivors. Then it would kind of be less, like, word vomit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? Bro. A gender and non-binary people. <laughs> okay, maybe you found that funny at least. <laughs> but um Yeah, I got this one though, because um there was another one in there that was also about CSA. Except first off it wasn't a workbook. Okay? And I know that the two of you at least like these self-help workbooks. I don't. They make me scared. Well, then I guess you're going to have to get over your fear. You're going to have to use a self-help book to get over your fear. <laughs> Wait, they should make a book that's like getting over your fear of self-help books. The workbook. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. There's quite a... This is quite a bit of a hefty workbook. Good grief. I think if this doesn't solve each of our problems, I don't know what will, man. Yeah. I'm still in counseling. Me too. And then Peyton B. Yeah. But I mean, like, okay, the other one that was in there, though, is not a workbook, first off. But also, second off, like, it said something in there about, like, Christians. Like, okay, I didn't read it fully, but it was something about, like, um, us Christian survivors or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, please, I don't need, like, religious stuff in my, like, trauma recovery like what yeah honestly even though i'm christian personally that would make me a little bit uncomfortable if like my faith was being involved in like my mental health like i don't know that would feel weird to me yeah me too i i don't know man like honestly it would... Uh, I don't know. But, um... Get out all the stuff here. Okay. Well, good job, you two, at throwing it over here and no organized fashion oh you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Oh, good grief. You two cracked me up. <laughs> Alright, here's everything. Um, this. Uh, yeah, this is probably the most. Um, I, I mean, the biggest. Um, half price book haul that I at least have done in one video. Oh, wait, you two don't do unboxings. Okay, correction here, as I've been just informed, um, Peyton B does not do unboxing videos yet. Oh my gosh, Peyton B, you're gonna get back into doing YouTube? Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so proud of you. Oh. Okay, so guys, if you like this video, give us a like. Give us a subscriber. And comment down below if you also need this workbook. Or if you want us to do a Dork Diaries video. Or both! <laughs> and, um, yeah, we three will see you guys in the next Valentine's Day week special. Bye-bye!